Namaste. Welcome everybody. This is a short practice for the neck and the shoulders. If you're like me and tend to accumulate tension in this area, this is an effective way to help release some of that tension. We're going to need two props. So one strap, it can be any kind of band, a tension band, any belt that you have. And also two balls, they can be tennis balls or therapy balls, and you can use a sock to tighten them together. So you put them inside a sock and uh, make a tight knot so that they stay like this together. So we're going to begin simply sitting up nice and tall. I'm sitting on a blanket, you can use a towel to give yourself some height so it's easier for the spine to be neutral and for your legs to relax towards the floor. It's nice to have the knees no higher than the pelvis. And here we'll just close the eyes for a moment and tune into the breath allowing air to come in and out of the nostrils without any restrictions. No need to force anything to happen. Simply notice the air coming and going. Breathing in, observe the ribcage expanding, belly expanding. And breathing out, notice your belly deflating, the ribs softening back together. Just trace the breath, entering and leaving the body through the nose, getting centered, anchored into this moment, connecting to the body, observing the sensations of your breath, interacting with the body. And then, with the hands on the knees, we're going to inhale to lift the chin and the chest, arcing the back. And on the exhale, bring the chin into chest and lean back, holding onto your knees, round your spine. Inhale, lifting up the chest. So we're beginning to um, bring movement to the spine. Exhale, round your back, chin down. Freeing up the spine, freeing up your back. Inhaling to lift the chin and chest. And exhale to round the back, stretching the neck, the upper back. Inhale, shoulder blades come close together and down the back towards the spine. On the exhale, the shoulder blades slide apart. We stretch the upper back, shoulders, neck. Inhale. Lifting up the chest, expand through the collarbones. Exhale, contract the low belly and lean back. A couple more like this. Inhale, lifting up the chest, shoulders stay relaxed. Exhale, rounding the spine. And one more time, a long breath in, slow. And exhale, completely all the air out. And pause in a neutral spine. Take your fingertips to the floor by the hips. And on the inhale, lift the right arm up. Exhale, walk the left fingers away, side bending. Now bend your right elbow towards the ceiling. Hold the back of your head. You can hold close to your left ear. Relax both shoulders. Don't let the right shoulder, or sorry, left shoulder rotate forward. Keep it externally rotating. And breathe into the right side of your rib cage as you relax your neck muscles here with the support of your hand. And inhale, return to center. Lower the hand down as you exhale. Lift the left arm up, breathe in. Walk the right fingers away as you breathe out. Bend the elbow, hold the back of your head, hold close to the right ear now. Right shoulder head rotates backwards. Anchor down the left hip and breathe into the left side of your rib cage. So here we're freeing up the back and moving the spine in different ways to help free up 
the area of the neck, the cervical spine. And then come back to center and lower the hand down. Now rotate the shoulders up, back and down a few times. Feel the movement of the scapula. And pause. From here, the hands will start on your legs, on your knees. And then you're going to inhale. The left arm opens wide above the line of the shoulder. You look at your left hand. And on the exhale, you bring this hand to touch your right knee and you look down. Inhale. It's an opening motion. You look at your left hand, which is above your left shoulder back. And exhale, you trace your hand back down to your right knee. So on the inhale, we look at the hand, we open the chest and stretch the right side of the neck. And on the exhale, we bring the hand back down to the knee and we stretch the left side of the neck. Again, inhale to open the arm wide, look at the hand and trace it back down on the exhale, touching the right knee. Two more times. Inhale, opening the hand, look back. Exhale, look at the right knee, right hand. Inhale, open up. And last time, exhale, bring the hand back down, look at the hand. Now, take your left hand back to the left knee. A moment in neutral here, just observe your neck, your shoulders. And we'll do the other side, same thing. Right arm opens wide above the shoulder and back. Look at the hand. And on the exhale, we trace the right hand all the way down to the left hand or left knee. And inhale, open wide. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, open. Try not to move the torso too much. Exhale, so you really bringing movement to the upper back and the neck. And exhale, back down two more times. Inhale, right arm lifts, we open. Exhale, gazing at the hand all the way back down. And last time, inhale, open chest. Exhale, back down. Right hand to right knee. Pause in center, notice how the body feels here. And then take the strap onto your hands. Hold the strap wider than your shoulders. You can adjust as we go. As you inhale, lift your arms up overhead. And on the exhale, bring it back behind you. Now if it's too uh, tight, separate the hands a little wider and then lower down. You still want to feel some tension, but you should be able to lower your hand down without bending your elbows. Inhale, lifting up overhead. Exhale now forward and down. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale back. Notice that there's a point where this becomes a little more challenging, probably around uh, the shoulder blades area when the strap is that at that level the shoulder blades inhale lifting up mindfully up overhead exhale forward and down inhale lifting up again tone the low belly exhale back and down inhale lifting up like you're flossing your shoulders removing Stagnant energy from the shoulder joints. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lowering. Inhale, lifting up again. Forward and down on the exhale. Let's try one more. Inhale, lifting up. We're going to finish with the arms going back. Exhale, back and down. Now, let go of the strap and interlace your hands behind your hips. Extend the arms, lift the chest. Bring your chin down slightly towards your chest. So the back of the neck is long. You maintain the chest nice and broad, lifted. And then from here, keep your hands clasped 
and bring them over to the left side of your waist. Point your left elbow back. Take a deep breath here. Tilt your head over to the right as you exhale. Keep your left shoulder down and breathe into the left side of your neck. Deep breath in. Stay as you breathe out. Inhale. Exhale fully. Let's do one more. Inhale space into the left side of your neck. And stay as you exhale completely. Now bring your chin towards the right collarbone. Try looking down at the right side of your chest just for a moment. And then bring your chin towards center, sternum aligned. And then lift your chin parallel to floor. Extend your arms back, change the clasping of your hands so the opposite thumb is on the outside, opposite middle finger, take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, bring your hands interlaced to the right waist, right side of your waist, point your right elbow back, take a deep breath in center, and tilt your head left now. Keep the right shoulder down and breathe into the right side of your neck, inhaling. Stay here as you exhale. Keep pointing the elbow back. Inhale into the right side of your neck. And stay as you exhale. One more full breath. Space into the right side of your neck. Stay breathing all the air out. Now, your chin is coming down towards the left collarbone. Take a moment here, breathing into the right side of your neck. You might feel the stretch more towards the back of the neck a little bit now. Still on the right side. And then we bring the chin to center. Still pointing the right elbow back. And lift the chin parallel to floor, extend the arms back, take a deep breath in, and release the hands. Bring the hands to your legs, just notice how you feel for a moment. Now we're going to open the arms nice and wide, palms face up. Inhale, reach your fingertips away from the center of your body, expand, spread your fingers wide. Stay as you exhale. Take one more breath like this, inhale. And then you're giving yourself a huge hug, a really tight hug. So you're gonna cross left arm over right and try touching the shoulder blades. Walk your hands as close together as possible in your upper back. And then from here, relax your shoulders. You could stay here or you can move into eagle arms in which you raise your hands towards the ceiling, fingertips point up, and then you touch the palms together. You can also try the version where you hold on to the shoulders. But this is the traditional Garuda arms, the eagle arms. Take a deep breath in. Shoulders stay down away from ears and neck is long, chin slightly into chest. Lift the elbows a little bit higher if you can, breathing in. And stay as you breathe out. Neck remains long. The shoulders don't lift up to the ears, they stay down. Breathing in Garuda arms, the eagle arms. We're going to tilt the head to look over the right shoulder now. So simply gaze over your right shoulder, keep the left shoulder down and breathe. One more breath here, Garudasana arms. Return your head to center. Release, unbind your arms, open wide, palms face up. Reach the fingertips away from each other, deep breath in. Interlace hands behind the hips as you breathe out. Extend the arms, inhale, lift the chest. And stay as you exhale. 
Open the arms nice and wide again, palms facing up. Take a deep breath in, reach the fingertips away from each other, opposite side of the room. And then we're going to reach the hands forward, the right arm crosses over left, bend the elbows, the upper arms are crossing, and we try holding onto the shoulder blades. Walk the hands as close together as possible. Relax the shoulders, create more space between the earlobes and the shoulder heads. And then reaching your hands up towards the ceiling in front of your face. Try touching palms. Inhale, lift the elbows. Relax the shoulders. Neruda, eagle arms. Breathe into the back of your neck. Remember there are variations you can try. If this is not happening today, hands to shoulders is one of the possibilities. The legs, your foundation remain heavy and does not change. You stay very stable, very grounded. A couple more breaths here in Garudasana arms. We're going to tilt the head to look over the left shoulder now. Gaze over your left shoulder. Neck stays long, right shoulder stays down. Just another breath. Face forward again. Open the arms. Inhale wide. Exhale. Interlace hands with the opposite thumb on the outside. So not your habitual way. Lift up the chest. Lift the hands off the floor. Take a deep breath in. And release. Pause. Hands can rest on your legs, just notice how you feel, any changes that are taking place, be mindful of them. All right, two more things. The next one, we'll use the strap again. So take the strap into your left hand. Reach your arm up by your head, then bend your left elbow. Use your right hand to tuck the elbow in towards the midline of your body. Reach the right arm out and down. So now your shoulder head rotates forward. You grab the other end of the strap and you walk your hands as close together as possible. I'm going to turn so you can see what my hands are doing. And if your fingers are close enough that you can clasp them, you let go of the strap. If not, you keep holding onto the strap. If you can, find a clasp in your hands. Maintain your left shoulder down away from ear. And keep breathing there in um, Gomukhasana, the cow face pose. Cow face or cow head pose. You breathe, left shoulder stays down, anchor down through your pelvis and stay tall. Just one more breath here, pointing the left elbow up. Now, if you're still holding the strap, hold only with the right hand, the bottom one. And release. Open your arms, relax. Rotate the shoulders up and down a couple times. And we'll do the other side. So grab your strap again, now onto your right hand. Lift the arm up by the head. Bend your elbow, use your left hand to tuck the right elbow in. Contain the low ribs, that's important. You don't want to pop out the floating ribs too much. Maintain the integrity in the spine. Send your head back into the right arm. Now, left arm can reach out, thumb points down, the shoulder head rotates forward to reach down for the other end of the strap and walk the hands as close together as possible. If the fingers are close enough, hook them or clasp your hands, whatever you can. Relax your shoulders, the right shoulder stays down. We remain tall, space throughout the spine. Imagine you can make the spaces between the vertebrae even wider, allowing the vertebral discs to decompress as you anchor down and intentionally 
lengthen the crown towards the ceiling. Lower the sky if you're outside. A couple more breaths here. Lingo Mukhasana arms. Now we don't need to stretch anymore. We can release the hands, open the arms wide, and lower the hands down. Circle the shoulders up and down a couple times. Lovely. And then the grand finale now. Take your balls. If you don't have balls handy, you can skip this one for now, but just know that this is the most effective thing that I have found in all the tools that I know from yoga or any other um, disciplines really to release tension from the body. You can use it anywhere, but now we're going to use it for the neck and shoulders. So you can do it against the wall. I'm going to show it on the floor, which is um, uh, more effective in a way because you can apply more pressure. But you, if it's too much on the floor, you do it against the wall. So come to the floor, maybe on a mat, which would be better because you have more grip. And I actually like to use um, a blanket or a towel under my head to have a little more control over this. I'll show you. As I lie down, I bend my knees. I have the two balls in a little sack. And I'm going to place the balls uh, at the very top of the neck where the neck meets the head, where my skull meets my, my neck, right? So, each ball is to one side of the spine, and I begin just with gentle movements, turning the head side to side. This already feels so good, so good. I move around however you like. Now, having the towel or the blanket under the head gives you a little more control because there's more cushion and the um, balls won't splay out or move too much as they would in a um, in a surface like the wooden floor, for example. And then you can move your body up towards the end of the mat and the balls will go down your neck or you can manually just take the balls down. Again, moving the head in any way you like. So it's a great way to explore your body, to get to know um, what works for you. You become your own massage therapist and then you can continue this work of taking the balls down or lifting your body upwards. When you come to the area of the shoulders, then you may want to take the balls off the toad. Why? Because then they can go wider, right? And you can explore your shoulders better. So taking the balls to the very tops of the shoulders and you can make circular movements with your arms. You could, do, you could be doing this against the wall as well if you like less pressure. And keep adjusting yourself however you need, right? Whatever you need. Now, if you want more pressure when you get to the area between the shoulder blades, press into your feet, lift your hips up off the floor, and then you can reach your arms to the ceiling. You can continue to move your shoulders around. You can give yourself another hug here. Make sure you change the arm that is on top from time to time. And then continue to slide yourself up, moving the balls down. And I think it's very helpful to do the entire back, even if your intention is to just release the upper back or the neck, the shoulders, because it's all connected, right? So sometimes you release something around the hips, around the pelvis, and it releases something um, higher. So keep doing this work, enjoy, take the time, it's worth it, you will feel better in the body, guaranteed. And um, I will see you next time. If you have any requests for other 
videos and specific um, areas in the body, issues you're facing, or even uh, with uh, spirituality, let me know. I'd love to help in any way that I can. Namaste.